Someone asked for a video on sewing on buttons by machine, and the thing is, I never do that. Some people swear by it because they find it faster than sewing them on by hand. For me, it's just a big hassle without a lot of payoff. You've got to get a special foot that works for sewing on buttons, and you've got to set up the machine just right or you end up breaking a ton of needles. There isn't a way to lock the stitch, so most of the buttons sewn on by machine fall off really easily. But most importantly to me, I don't like the way they look. The machine sews them really flat to the fabric and there's no space underneath the button for the buttonhole to pass over and through, so everything ends up looking kind of puckered. So not my cup of tea, but I sew them on by hand and I've got a method that's fast and simple and hides the knot underneath the button, not against the back of the fabric, so the knot doesn't rub up on you and uh, have a chance to unravel. Let's give it a try. To sew on a button, you'll want needle and thread, wax or thread conditioner for your thread, a button, fabric to sew it onto, and scissors. I quadruple thread for strength, so four strands of thread. I'll take off a very long strand of thread, cut it, fold the ends, and then put the folded end to the eye of the needle. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. Once it's through, I will hold it down in my thread conditioner and coat the fibers so they will pull easily through the fabric. And then I'll make my knot at the end. Now I poke the needle through into the fabric, right where I want the button to be, poke it right back up. This will hide the knot underneath the button. Take the needle, put it through the first hole in the button, start putting it through the other to end, and then fold the fabric. So I'm just getting a little bit here. Go back up once I've gone through the fabric again. Go back through and repeat this step three or four times. Once the button is sewn on and I've gone back down to the base of it, I want to create a shank. That's a little spacer that will give the button room between it and the buttonhole. So I'll wrap my thread around the base of the button two, three times to create my shank. I'll then take the needle and stab through that shank a couple of times to secure it and then knot it by poking through and poking through the loop and pulling tight. Might do that a couple times. Once that's done, I cut the thread right close and I have a really nice and secure button with only a little bit of extra showing at the back. I demonstrated with a two-hold button. For a four-hold button, the process is exactly the same. You just do it twice. So you can sew them on either in parallel, crisscross, or get super fancy and box them. So if hand sewing on buttons has frustrated you before, try this method out and see if you like it. You can liven up an old shirt by transferring buttons out. Um, you can either find ones from another shirt or go and check through a friend's or family member's sewing button box. Because trust me, if you sew, you've got a button collection. It's not really hoarding if you use them, right? Thanks so much for joining me. Um, like and subscribe below and get in touch if you have some ideas for different videos.